Greetings, family. Welcome to Market Milkers Lifetime Mentorship. So today we are going to do the first topic for pure price action costs, right? The first topic for pure price action costs. But before uh, we go on to our first topic, which is candlesticks, I'm going to give a little bit description about myself, right? So I'm Clifford Mongofa, and I'm the founder of Market Milkers, right? And then I'm also a mentor for BTMM and Pure Price Action for Market Milkers. And also, I'm also the creator of the Market Milkers Sniper Strategy. And also, I'm the creator of Peak Formation Mastery, right? So basically, this is me and this is our company, Market Milkers, right? If you want to find us on Telegram, you just type Market Milkers, or if you want to contact us, this is the phone number. And also, if you want to visit our website, this is the website, right? Or also, if you want to visit us on social media, you can go on any platform and search market milkers. So without wasting much of our time, uh, let's jump onto the, the first topic, which is candlesticks, right? As for candlesticks, as you know, uh, they are of different sizes and shapes, right? As for candlesticks, you know that they are of different sizes and shapes, right? So firstly, we are going to go through the characteristics of candlesticks, right? Characteristics of candlesticks. Right, the first characteristic of candlestick the first characteristics of candlesticks is candlesticks are different in sizes, right? Candlesticks are different in sizes. So you will see uh, on your charts that there are some candlesticks which are big and there are some candlesticks which are small. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't uh, say anything about. Uh, it doesn't uh, say anything about um, our shades or something. It's just a characteristic that candlesticks are different in size. So you see, some candlesticks are big and some candlesticks are small, right? Right. Let's go for an example, right? For an example. As you can see on my charts here, right? On my charts here, we have uh, some big candlesticks there, right? And also we have uh, some small candlesticks. Like I said, it's a characteristic, right? It's a characteristic, right? Now we move on to the second characteristics of candlesticks, right? Second characteristic is candlesticks contain a real body, right? Candlesticks contain the real body, right? By real body, what do I mean? By real body, what do I mean? I mean uh, this space inside here which I'm sh shading, right? Which I'm highlighting in light blue, right? This is the real body. This is the real body of a candlestick, right? This is the real body of the candlestick, right? Now I'm going to go on an example to show you this characteristic, right? I'm going to show you this characteristic, right? As you can see, uh, this is my charts now, right? You can see that candlestick contain this one, real body. This is the real body, right? Uh, another one, 
here, right? That's a real body there. Also here, another one here, right? Here, here, right? These are real bodies, right? These are real bodies. And it's a characteristic of candlesticks. It's a characteristic of candlesticks, right? Now, we are going to move on to the third characteristic of candlesticks, right? The third characteristic of candlesticks, candlesticks contain what we call the wick or shadow or rejection or pin. Right. So you might hear some traders saying, I saw a pin, uh, some saying I saw a shadow, some saying I saw a, a rejection, some saying I saw a week. They are just saying the same thing. They are just saying, uh, they are just referring to the same thing. So this is the week or the shadow, which I'm shading down here. Right, this is the shadow here, here, right. Like I said, it's a characteristic of candlesticks, right? It's a characteristic of candlestick. Now I'm going to go on an example and show you these pins, right? An example, as you can see, right? I'm going to highlight, right? Uh, I'm going to highlight the pins. As you can see, they are very, visible right these are the pins or shadow or wicks of the candlestick right as you can see the candlesticks contain uh wicks or shadow right candlestick contain wicks or shadow <clears throat> right so we have we have uh highlighted all three characteristics of candlesticks right all three characteristics of candlesticks, right? Now we are going to move on to what we call candlestick patterns. Right, so you should know uh, that on candlesticks, right? On candlesticks, uh, we have what we call candlestick patterns and these are uh, names for candlesticks. Let's say if you combine two candlesticks, you might come up with a name, right? Or if you combine three candlesticks, you come up with a name, or even one candlestick uh, should give you a name, right? So there are some candlestick patterns we actually focus on, right? We actually focus on. So today I'm just going to do uh, just two examples of candlestick patterns, and then you go and do the rest, right? And then you go and do the rest, right? So, like I said, <clears throat> we are going to do candlestick patterns, right? Um, the first candlestick pattern we are going to do is the engulfing bar. Engulfing bar. So engulfing bar is divided into two candlestick patterns. Engulfing bar is in, divided into two candlestick patterns. We have the bullish engulfing bar. <coughs> we have the bullish engulfing bar and then we have the bearish engulfing bar we have the bearish engulfing bar Right. So before before we go on further, before we go on further explaining about these candlestick patterns, 
There are some trading terms you should know uh, before you go any further. That is, you should know the meaning of bullish, right? And also you should know the meaning of bearish, right? You should know these trading terms. So I'm just going to explain what these trading terms mean, right? In Forex trading, right? So bullish, right? Bullish means the buyers means the buyers are in control of their market, right? Bullish means the buyers are in control of the market. Bullish means the buyers are in control of the market. So you should know these trading terms such that when you are reading uh, some Forex books, uh, you won't be confused when people are, will be referring to bullish and bearish, right? Uh, when people will be preparing uh, using the term bullish and bearish. Like, so like I said, uh, bullish means the buyers are in control of the market. Buyers are in control of the market, right? Now we are moving on to bearish, right? Bearish All right, bearish means the sellers are in control of the market. Right, bearish means the sellers are in control of the market. Bearish means the sellers are in control of the market. So now you know these trading terms, bearish and bullish, right? Now you know these trading terms, bearish and bullish. Now we are going to move on to, uh, we are going to move on to, we are going to move on to uh, these candlestick patterns. We are going to fully explain uh, these candlestick patterns. So bullish engulfing bar, a bullish engulfing bar looks like this, right? A bullish engulfing bar looks like this. Firstly, we have a small bearish candlestick, right? Firstly, we have a small bearish candlestick, right? And then secondly, we have a big bullish candlestick, which fully covers the first candlestick, right? So from the word engulfing, we are simply saying that this bearish candlestick is fully covered by the bullish candlestick, which is the green one, right? Right, so, so this first one is for bearish and then this uh, second one, right, is for bullish, right? So suppose, suppose the market is in a downtrend. Suppose the market is in a downtrend, right? Right. So if if the market happens to form a bullish engulfing bar, if the market happens to form a bullish engulfing bar on higher time frames, there is a possibility that that market will reverse. But it's not every bullish engulfing bar that you see that the market is going to respect and uh, that the market uh, will reverse. No, uh, market only reverses only on major points of support and resistance. Market only reverses on major points of support and resistance. So, but as for now, I just want you to know uh, how this bullish engulfing bar works and how this 
Bieri Shengkaufen Ba works, right? We will do a topic about uh, these major points of support and resistance. But as for now, I want you to focus, I want you to concentrate on knowing these candlesticks by head, right? So this is the function for, uh, this is the function for a bullish engulfing bar. As you can see, bullish, like I said, the buyers are in control of the market, right? The buyers took control here when they formed a bullish engulfing bar, right? And then the buyers are now in control. And then the buyers, uh, the market started uh, moving in the direction for buyers, right? Right. So, um, we are now doing the bearish engulfing bar. So bearish engulfing bar is the opposite of bullish engulfing bar. So firstly, here we have a small bullish candlestick, right? Firstly, we have a small bullish candlestick, right? And then secondly, we have a big bearish candlestick, which fully covers the first candlestick, which fully covers the first candlestick, right? So I'm going to explain uh, that how the bearish engulfing bar works. The bearish engulfing bar is just the opposite of, um, it's just the opposite of bullish engulfing bar. So suppose the market is in an uptrend, suppose the market is in an uptrend and then the market forms a bearish engulfing bar. There is a possibility that that market will reverse, but it's not every bearish engulfing bar that you see uh, that uh, will cause a change in the direction of the market. Markets only change direction on only points of support and resistance, on only points of support and resistance, right? So if you combine these candlesticks with your support and resistance, you would have formed, uh, you would have uh, done yourself a great deal, right? So this is the main function for a bearish engulfing bar, the sellers took control here of the market and then the market started to go down. The market started to go down. So, right, so I have uh, taught you uh, the characteristic of candlesticks, the terms bullish and bearish, right? And then uh, these candlesticks, right? These candlesticks, right? So, right. So I've done uh, two candlesticks patterns, two candlestick patterns. I want you guys to go and do the rest, right? I want you guys to go and do the rest, right? So uh, for reference and homework, right? Reference and homework, you use this book, which is called the Candlestick Trading Bible, right? You use this book called the candlestick trading bible and i want you to do this chapter one right i want you to do this chapter one so i have taught you uh the engulfing bar i want you to go and do the doji dragonfly doji gravestone and i want you to see up to until the end i want you to know these candlesticks by head right guys i want you to know these candlesticks by head right this is price action this is pure price action we are going to use this topic for entries right we are going to use this topic uh, on our last session for entries so i want you to know this topic by head and i want you uh, to practice and see if you can see these candlestick patterns on your real charts, right? So this is uh, the end of our lesson. This is the end of our first lesson, right? So thank you guys for joining. Uh, I'll meet you next time on our next lesson. Thank you.